Welcome to another episode of Jeff Reads Lore. Today, thanks to comment from Powis, we are doing lore for Noah the Just. Another longer one today, not quite as long as the last couple. And just a little quick fact for you, in case you don't know, um, I do pretty much all these on one take. I don't read the lore before I read it for the video. Sometimes I have a, a stumble I just am not happy with and start over. Um, and there's a more times where I realize there's dialect and it's like, oh, that that was a guy and not a girl and but uh so this one i just skimmed just to see if for dialect but i i go in these cold so sometimes i have like a word where i mess up where i mean we would do it but most of our one take wonders uh, just for what it's worth uh if you have any feedback on these please do let me know uh and, and as we learned last episode my, my female voices need some work but it is what it is so without further ado we have today noah the just Noah the Just hails from Torrent, a village of sea nagas that dwells in the waters of the northeastern shore of Pretoria. He spent much of his childhood working on his father's kelp farm alongside his siblings, harvesting crops, picking rocks from the seashore and seabed, and assisting with tasks of manual labor around the farm. Even at a young age, he was formerly well-muscled and strong, yet shy and quiet. Some of his more antagonistic peers mistook his shyness for weakness and tried to bully him. But after a couple brawls that left them with blackened eyes, squashed noses, and even a few broken bones, while Noah suffered nothing more than bruised and bloody knuckles, they turned their attention to weaker targets. However, Noah could not abide seeing others suffer, and he took to protecting those who could not protect themselves. His skill with his fists as well as his passion for justice, drew notice from the warriors of the tribe. They invited the young sea naga to train with them. Before long, he was the one doing the training. When he reached adulthood, his mother and father encouraged him to join the militia, knowing he would best serve the tribe in its defense, rather than toiling on the family farm. Noah continued to fight with his fists, and his powerful muscles and lightning-fast reflexes proved more than a match for the sharp edge of a blade or the blunt face of a club. He defended the tribe time and again against its enemies. Eventually, he attained the rank of captain, head of the militia. Later still, after leading the defense against the invading Chaos Legion forces and a counterattack that left none of the interloper's ships afloat, Noah the Just was unanimously voted Tribal Chieftain of Torrent. The Chaos Legion's armada cut through the waves. Noah the Just clambered over the gunwale of a gallon, galleon and slithered onto the deck. Naga! One of the crew shouted and brandished swords and clubs. They rushed him. He threw a jab and followed up with a right cross. A crewman fell, a hook and an uppercut, and two more toppled in an unceremonious heap. Noah fought his way across the deck, dodging blades and lashing out with his fists. When he reached the ship's helm, the entire crew lay unconscious, debilitated, or dead. The sailor at the wheel sneered at him and drew a long, wicked saber from a scabbard that hung from her belt. After, after I take your head, I'll use your skin for my boots, you oversized snake. There's an accent there, apparently. A swing of his fists later, and she lay on her back, neck broken. Noah took the wheel and spun it hard to the left. The galleon lurched through the ocean and angled toward the Chaos Legion ship, sailing beside it. Cries of alarm went up from its deck. Noah dove into the ocean as the two ships collided with a thunderous splintering of wood. In the ensuing confusion, the Sea Naga of Torrent swarmed up the hulls and onto the decks of the Armada's ships. What lore do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. And FYI, yes, I did have to pause in the middle there uh, because I, I really, really had to cough. Three, three long lures in a, in a row is uh, beyond my limit, apparently, for a single recording session. So, noted for next time. See you then, whenever and wherever there may be.